crazy intro that I usually give him. Nonetheless, today we're going to be going through which unis should you apply to with your strength, whether it be within the BMAT, within the UCAT, personal statement, and a few, not tips and tricks, but a few things to consider. I'm going to quickly start it off if mm -hmm. that's calm with you. The UCAT unis. Now, within London, what score is needed? And we're going to quickly go through it because I know I get a ton of DMs on Metro. People telling me, what should I apply to? Am I enough? You need to have above the third decile to even apply um, for A100. This is the undergraduate one. Now, the lows that I've seen, like verified in person was 590 and 3A stars. Is my score enough to get into the university? Mm -hmm. So uh, I One more thing guys, yeah. I just wanted to mention, this is more like a brief video. Mm. So what it is, is that we're basically giving a template in which you can use to strategically apply to the best universities mm -hmm. for medicine and possibly dentistry because of the UCAT. Yeah. Now this will depend on each person, depending on your UCAT, on your BMAT, on your own personal life, for example, whether you want to go outside yeah, of London. Yeah, sure. It depends on what you want to sacrifice. Like we personally know a brother who just went to Czech Republic to do dentistry and yes, they, oh, he went? Yeah, 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 yeah. I spoke to him like two days ago. Oh, he's gone, gone. Yeah. No, no, he's going this week. But anyway, there My are people guy, who will be... Went. Yeah, there, there are people who will be going very, very far. I did not know that. Also, Queen Mary has another base in, uh, Malta. in Malta. Yeah. Is someone so, going there as well? Even? No, not that I know of yet. I know one of my students at Medshock is there at Malta. Shout out to you. I'm not yeah. sure what your name is, Mariam. I don't know. Something also, like also uh, one more thing is that uh, Cringista did make previous videos on comparing universities from UCL to Imperial mm. to, you know, Parts and obviously King's. So all of them will be down there and in the description below, inshallah. So hopefully check them out so you can properly understand what kind of school you need for each university. But right now, we're just giving like a brief introduction so let me quickly start off inshallah so basically what i would say is that uh, at this point we are he robbed my position i was meant to, oh, well, yeah, look, look. in london in london uk in london yeah, yeah here in the UK what I would say is that first of all what you want to do is that you want to be smart with the way you apply to universities yeah. the first thing you want to do is check your UCAT and we're assuming but that by the time you're watching this video yeah. or at least this video is of kind of benefit to you you already have your UCAT score yeah. you have your BMAT score you kind of have your personal statement and you're just thinking about which universities okay. to finalize before before he kicks in into this basically with the BMAT score this year COVID-19 2020 you're gonna do the exam after the UCAS assessment so essentially you're not gonna know your score for the BMAT right now one Thing that is really going to benefit them I think maybe I should take over in this instant because I know specific scores and I've made two videos on this do you understand yeah okay so with Kings now the upper bound and lower bound I'm gonna try to go for the lowest score that you or I've seen someone get into a Kings interview mm -hmm. from the UCAT now the lower band of scores that I've seen people get into the interview because that's what the UCAT is for to get you to the interview do you understand? Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily to get you a medical space, it's to get yeah. you to the interview. So, as I said, guys, and that's the, that's the tricky bit of medical school, mm. that you are doing UCAT and BMAT, trying to get good score, and then that's to give you an interview. Then you need to pass the interview, and once you have the offer, then yeah. you need to get the A-levels. And, you know, this is basically, they're trying to eliminate some uh, exactly. guys, because exactly. remember, at the end of the day, statistically, one in ten people roughly get into med, because it's, you know, everyone wants to be a doctor and stuff like that. You, so, I they're trying you. to eliminate people through this exam space. Do you remember basically. what Domestic Bleach said? I'll bring up your comment, domestic bleach. You're factually inc incorrect. Anyway, nonetheless, really? I think one in ten is a stretch. I think. I think one in ten is a stretch. I'm talking about domestic bleach. UK shout it, I'm UK. shouting you out right now. No, UK wise. I don't know. Domestic bleach, do your research. Mm -hmm. Make sure you put you it in the comments. I'll pin okay. your comment. I'll right, pin your comment. Ho ho hopefully, I'll find some solid evidence because okay. I've seen it somewhere. I've seen it in an article. It's not me waffling. Okay. So, and it depends. Even in some units, it's one to 13, like Imperial. Like, that's no, different. No, no. One to 14, about, I know that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, regardless it's not easy that's the point we're trying mm. to make and a lot of people will not get in but you want to bank and properly do this UK and yeah. beam up properly mm. so that you get the interview and obviously inshallah we'll be doing like some kind of interview yeah, course for yeah, you yeah. to watch and then you want to make sure you get the A-levels okay. but anyway going back to what I was saying when it comes to applying to universities Arriba, is that Arriba, Arriba. I didn't finish. All right, you finish, you finish, go. I'll cut, I'll cut it off right time. Now, the lowest score that I've seen a person get into the interview, Abitorab, you tell me if you've seen lower. Mm -hmm. I've seen someone with a prediction of two A stars and an A with a UCAT score of 665 that I've seen lowest to the interview because they do it in bands. You probably check the website. It might be on screen. If not, it's going to be in the description box down below, inshallah ta'ala. That's for Kings. Uh, I wanted to mention for Bots, actually, for yeah. Queen Mary. And um, someone got in with a 580-something and banned for... I don't fully remember he said Perhaps, 593 stars no it was not three a stars it was two a stars and an a uh possibly 590 someone from my school yeah yeah Is that yeah, yeah, you told yeah, me? yeah something around that 590 probably 590 three a stars that's what I no 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 two a stars and an a two a stars and an a and they not got an interview stars. and band four no way band four and he got an interview i've seen his results it was from 580 for five it was less than 600 yeah. i know band four 100 percent he got band four 
I know that for sure. With the exact score, I don't remember, but it's nowhere more than 590. That's okay. the point. Okay. So basically, I believe the cutoff for Queen Mary is somewhere around that. 580, 590. So mm -hmm. basically, that's the lowest yeah. they would go for. Two A stars and an A, not three A stars. Two A stars and an A, from I what I remember. That. I never knew that. And then the lowest I've seen someone get into St. George's interview, they also do have a cutoff, and I think it was like 620 last year. It changes every year, but 620 isn't a really high score. Basically, you get invited to the interview, and I think the St. George's interview is MMI, and on top of that, it's really, really difficult to secure a place. I think that's roughly one in ten. Mm -hmm. I think that's one in ten, as in those who get to the interview to those that actually have a space. So right now, I'm going to give it over to Abu Torah to tell us about the scores roughly that he's seen people get accepted into UCL for the interview, mm -hmm. and then as well as our university. It's kind of like the structure that I would go for. Okay. Some of the mistakes that I've, yeah, you know perhaps okay. made in yeah. the. So what I would say is that the best thing to do is that uh, depending on your UCAT, if your UCAT is banging. Uh, and your BMA is not the best, then obviously apply to UK universities. Yeah. If your UK is not the best and your BMA is banging, yeah. then I would say still apply to at least one UK university, just in case, depending on how bad your UK okay. is. Obviously, if you get banned for 500 average, no, don't. Do you understand? Uh, what if 550? It's too low. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying What's some the people. The lowest score that you take is a good score. The lowest good score for, for you the, to. For the, for in London. In London? Yeah. The lowest that you can still get in, from what I've seen, I would say best is, depending also on your A-level predictions, I would say, even if you get predicted 1A star and 2As, yeah. if you get 600 and ban 1, I've seen someone, 610, something around that, it doesn't have to be that high. Because if people as low as 590 could get in with ban 4, and remember, the people that I've seen get in, they got their interview around February, okay. but their interviews go until March. Okay. Do you know what exactly that means? You understand that's from the best of my understanding so obviously you can disagree before they used to do that such as like the ranking system in especially in imperial prior if you get invited to interview first you're probably going to get in and i think it was ucl last year that were doing this so again it depends on the cohort lots of universities stopped doing this for example imperial they ensure that they interview everyone before they give out any offers who mary has started to do that as well so i don't think it's mm -hmm. necessarily the case for your guy there i'm going to mention imperial lowest score that i've seen imperial does have cutoffs per section and you might get a i don't know score in eight on one section and then a three on another you will get rejected you will get rejected there's no two ways about that so you need to score a decent score of like five and again the video will be linked to see the average scores the so ucl have you seen anyone or what is tell us your score straight up on yeah, camera yeah. I, I would say look i'll tell you um alhamdulillah my one was good but to properly summarize this if you want to get an interview from ucl i think you need your predicted ace uh whatever you get like for you because i was predicted three a stars that's important they do look at your okay. uh, a level stuff from what i know so Assuming you have a good prediction, um, they will look at that, a good personal statement. And in terms of BMAT, I believe uh, they don't just have like a cutoff, like Imperial, like for each mm -hmm. section. So what they do is that they will give you points based on the BMAT. So I would say if you really want to be in a secure place, 4.8, 4.7. On both sections. On, on both sections, roughly, yeah. or 4.6. If you're a person who's into like debating and writing, mm -hmm. they really do like that as well. Because that kind of shows how you argue and put your ideas forth. Mm -hmm. And I also heard that they normally have your BMAT section free on them. And they sometimes use it for your UCL interview as well. So that's what, from what I know. In my case, they did not use that. Yeah. But they do have your BMAT section free to use for your interview. They used to do that. They used to do that. Now, I Do they still they, do it? They don't do it as often. Um, yep. But it is something that they are... They still do continue, like if they need to. Um, just in case you're thinking, as I thought the guy was going to take my bike. I think they mentioned it in the description of the interview that they sort of removed it prior. They used to do it to every single person from what I know. But one of the biggest things behind this year's selection process is that a lot of people have been given deferred entry and that's a hectic thing so again take the advice that we're giving with a pinch of salt don't come to us saying i got rejected at the end because this year is a different year how many people do you know that they had the offer they got the grade but they didn't get the medical space on the basis that this year the so many arrived yeah, late, CAGs and so, that craziness. Yeah, yeah. So again, you probably saw articles how the government ended up changing the plan. So eventually what happened is that people opened the UCAS and the government algorithm put the... What are you doing, <laughs> man? What the hell? Uh, I'm trying to be serious, man. Uh, go, go, go. So the government, what they did is that they used this algorithm. Yeah. So people on UCAS checked at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, like, yeah. what the hell? I didn't get in. And then obviously the, the entire A-level things, tables turned yeah. and people got their, you know, center assessed grades. Yeah. And what happened is that now they got the offer and now the universities have said, okay, cool. Um, we don't have space especially yeah. for medicine mm. so we'll give it to you next year so what's gonna happen is that this will make sure that the that the spaces for you guys watching this currently mm. will be much lower 
Mm. Do you understand? So they might increase the um, number of spaces. The number of spaces, but it's hard, you know, increasing the numbers of spaces. You know, the the money and all of the things behind the, the yeah. teaching. So it's hard. So we don't know, but that means for you guys, it's gonna be extra hard, and Trust you me. need to put the effort in, guys. And honestly, we're telling you because we all make mistakes, right? And the last thing you wanna do is people make the same mistakes that you made. You want them to like learn from the mistakes. Do you yeah, understand? Yeah, understand? So that's what's important. You make sure that you understand these videos, and hopefully, it comes to you some kind of benefit, okay. so that you can use these tips and inshallah so best thing guys make sure you work hard for your a-levels yeah. your b-man and right now when it comes to applying to universities yeah. you need to apply strategically now what i mean by that is that you have how many spaces five spaces five right spaces, yeah. so what happens with these five spaces is that you can only use four spaces yeah. because one of them has to be your backup plan yeah. now for my backup plan i would say make sure you apply to something like biomed or neuroscience or something just apply to that in case you want to do post-grad med for example in my case as of now i'm doing biomed inshallah at queen mary so that's the plan Allah mubarak Okay, calm down. Um, so that so that's the plan right now. So that's you, that's what should be your fifth option that you do something like uh, you know uh, biomed or neuroscience, yeah. biology, something kind of like related to science, I guess that you can possibly do post grad med for. And the four options, uh, I'm gonna let you speak for now. Tell me what would you do with your four options, assuming that you have a good UCAS score. If I have a good UCAS score, and I'm j I just simply stuck to London. In London's the best thing for me. I'm not there to live that haram lifestyle that's not me I don't, I'm not no, saying no, it's haram yes, you mean, yes, uh, no, you mean. no no hopefully inshallah that wouldn't never been for me but nonetheless Abu Torab, you're I'm not gonna say you stand corrected but there's one thing EMDP that you can apply for lots of people don't know about this but now hopefully you will know essentially this is the medicine course that you can put in the fifth option you never knew that uh, actually I did know it. I but I you only knew that know. after yeah 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 so I only knew after and I actually forgot about it, so sorry for not mentioning no, that. Fine, but fine. that's only for kings, isn't it? That's only for kings from what and I know. Also, it's very, very unlikely that you get in. Very yeah. unlikely, mm -hmm. but nevertheless, you try it. Well because well. you know why? Because if you get in, you get in. If you don't get in, it's fine because you can still go through biomed and stuff like that, free clearing. Yeah, but do you understand? It's quicker, it's quicker to do EMD. But nonetheless, um, we're going to wrap it up and I've come up with a new ending. I'll be tired to say goodbye then both back to me and I'm going to end it off then. So like, you. hold it. Yeah. You want me to hold it? Yeah, yeah. Alright, goodbye guys. Hopefully this video benefited in one way or another. So move it this way. Move it. Peace. <laughs>